right guys welcome back to the channel so this is a bonus video this is going to be a complete flip through of my thanksgiving photo album um and i also have a surprise for you guys at the end of the video uh this should be a very very short video i'm just going to do a flip through of the thanksgiving out of album that we have been working on so this is the cover these little snippet um cluster embellishments are made by miss sandy over at gramsy made it in marica and uh on the etsy shop and um i have her link listed in several of the videos where i've featured her um her clusters uh this is something that i added after the fact it's the only thing that i did after i turned the camera off so don't worry i don't have a bunch of like oh my gosh I didn't, you didn't do it with me don't worry that was it uh, I knew it needed something, I just didn't know what, and so I settled on Family Fun, and I'm glad I did because it looks really, really cool. Um, the cover, the spine, the whole caboodle of this entire book is completely made from scratch. Um, and this is, I want to say, about a two and a half inch spine. Um, and so let's open it up. It is made with a silk ribbon closure tie and this is uh, just some autumn paper that I had from my collection and it all uses the same paper line with the exception of the colored cardstock which is just very plain colored cardstock it's 65 pound weight um, cardstock so there is the front page and this is the first page with a tie here and there's two photo mats here one here and one here and there's a flip up there's another photo mat here on the back you can journal if you so choose and you can also put a photo here and there is a little tag label right there okay and let's watch me tie a bow because that's always fun Gotcha. And each page has a photo mat inside. This will fit a four by six photo or slightly smaller if you want this page right here to be um, bordered. And then you can journal on this page or we. This is not a or this is not a photo album that is for sale. I will make one for sale. It just won't be a Thanksgiving one. Here is another photo mat with a very cute cluster on the front. It does flip up. You can write on it and you can put a photo or write in the back. And then there's this here, which is also a flip up. It's got a little tag right there. Flips up and you can put photos right there as well. Okay. And then this side here is a flip up flip down, belly band, photo mat, and photo mat. And another card, also photo mat journaling card combination. Okay, and that is magnetized. And then another journaling card here. So as you can see, there is a lot of places for us to write as well as put photos, which is why I love making photo albums. So here's another journaling card and photo map. Here is some places you can either journal or you can put photos back here. They would be smaller photos. Same thing on this side here and here. And each pocket you can put a photo on if you so choose. And each pocket has its own photo map right there and I might put something after the fact uh, to kind of get these cards out a little bit easier um, so maybe like how I've got here this little guy I'm not sure but this goes right there and then this one here on this side is a pocket with falling leaves and a little tag right here you can label or you can leave blank another photo mat journaling card here and <clears throat> this one's really cool I like this one and there's a pocket with a photo mat journaling card 
and then another pocket with a photo mat journaling card here. And actually, you could put another card here. So this is what that would look like. I might make another one just for that, but it would be, this one's a little big for that. Let me grab another card real quick. I'll actually just grab this one here and I'll show you. So it would be a card here, pocket, pocket, and then another card on top. Huh, that's funny. But I just did like that. Okay. And then there's another journaling card photo mat here. There's four of those in the book. This is probably my favorite page in this book. I love this page. So the first one is a photo mat here. Uh, it's just a solid paper or a uh, solid page. There's no interaction, just a photo mat. Uh, remember this moment, you flip it up. There is some decoration here. This is a photo mat journaling space on this side. And flip it up again and you've got a pocket here with a photo mat journaling spot there and an envelope here with a journaling photo mat card inside okay and then on this side we have a, a journaling card photo mat Okay. This one says good times together and then it flips out again. So we've got some journaling space on this side and then we've got another pocket here with another envelope. Again, journaling space, photo space, more photo space, more journaling space. Okay. And it also has a card inside. Okay. So this was a ton, a ton of fun to make. Um, and then this is page seven with a, a menu card here. It's just a solid blank menu card. <coughs> Excuse me, this says fabulous fall. It's got a cluster of fall leaves here. Um, a journaling slash um, photo mat here and then a mat up here. Okay. And then this last page is page eight. This is another cluster from Gramsie. Oh, uh, from Miss Sandy over at Gramsie made it in Marika. Um, so this one is hers as well as this one here. So I've got one on the cover and then I've got three scattered throughout the book. Um, I, I was just making sure I didn't have one on the back. So this is also one that I got from Miss Sandy. So this is a magnetized here and it's a um, kind of a tag. You can journal right there and there's a pocket here. And this is just a journaling space to full, um, a journaling space or a photo mat. And then this card here, same concept, journaling space, photo mat. And you just put your photos on here just like you do anything else, really. Um, and that is the back cover, the inside cover. And then the very back cover says rustling leaves. And then it's just a cluster of various leaves. And that is it. And like I said, this was a ton of fun to make. I'm really glad that it's finished because now we can, you know, get pictures and start writing in it. And we all like to take pictures. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. And I'll just leave it on my dining room table. And then, you know, people can add to it whenever they want to, whether it's writing or photos or whatever. So that's what it looks like and then once it's filled up with writing and photos and whatnot for the year I will put it on the bookshelf with the rest of our photo albums and then I'll sit like that. So 
the bonus part of this particular video is I'm going to do a random drawing and um, if I have your address then you don't need to do anything it will happen automatically but if I don't have your address then I will need your address so what I did and you can just uh, please don't write it in a comment uh, send me an email and um, with your address if I don't have it and I will let you know if I have it after I pick the names so anyway, um, what I did was I only gave you one entry if you wrote a comment from the start of this process until this video here um, so if you wrote multiple com uh, comments you only you still only got one entry um, I might do something a little bit later that's a little bit different I'm not sure but as of right now I felt really bad about throwing this stuff away and I didn't want to just keep it for another year um, because I have a lot of paper pads that are autumn and stuff like that so I didn't want to just keep it in my house and I didn't want to throw it away so what I did was I bagged up all of the cutoffs with the exception of the teeny tiny pieces like this like I didn't do any of this um, I kept the, these so I could write the names down like these all have names on the back of them but the rest of these got thrown in the recycle so the special part is one lucky winner from the comments that you guys have so graciously supplied on the videos of the Thanksgiving album somebody is going to be a lucky winner and like I said if I don't have your address then I'll need your address all right so we're gonna mix these up some more while I'm sitting here yapping um, I have glue stuck on my paper so they keep getting stuck on the paper that's why they keep moving around like that but I'm trying to get them to like move Oop, you flipped over go back all right so and there will be no charge for shipping it will be completely um, me supplying the shipping okay so the lucky winner is going to be <laughs> are you ready I'm sure you guys are like pick a name already uh, Janet N so Miss Janet Nash I don't think I have your address so if you could shoot me a email my email is um, in the description box and um, if you could shoot me an email with your address then I can send this to you you don't have to do anything I will pay for shipping everything but Miss Janet Nash so congratulations and um, thank you so much and I look forward to hearing from you if I don't hear from you um, let's see today is Saturday if I don't hear from you by say Monday I'm gonna go ahead and pick another winner okay so thank you so much for watching and commenting you guys are amazing and I hope you have a wonderful day thank you so much bye